Vorador has said we must seek out a war galley. We should search the southern docks. What are the defenses here? The heaviest of all the Seraphan outposts. They control all trade and all travel to and from Meridian. The Seraphan are nothing compared to what I have faced and destroyed. Don't be so arrogant. Their finest warriors will be waiting within. The Glyph Knights are deadly. We shall see. Tell me one thing, Cain, before we go in. If you do kill the Seraphan Lord and recover the Soul Reaver, what then? You know the answer to that. Tell me. Then Meridian and all Norsgoth will become mine. And the Vampire Resistance? Well, you may do whatever you wish, of course. Of course. What? Do you take me for a fool? You dare! Vorador has told me all your stories, Kane. He said that you would stop at nothing to achieve your great ambition, absolute power. And when you control Nosgoth, are we to believe that you would let us vampires live and do what we wish? We are the only ones who could stand in your way. No, you will have to hunt us down and kill us. And how is that different from the rule of the Seraphan Lord? I will not defend or explain my actions to you, Uma. No one, not even you, will stand in my way. I thank you, Cain, for giving us this chance to defeat the Hilden for all time. But you have done enough. I shall be the one to find and kill the Seraphan Lord, and Nosgoth shall belong to the vampires once again. You fool. You have not the smallest chance of surviving such a battle. Now, give me the Nexus Stone, or I shall pry it from your thieving fingers as you convulse in death. Now the beast shows his true nature, and so quickly too. I wish it had been otherwise for us, Cain. Betrayal. Now, Uma went and stole the next stone. Now, he needs that. Cain needs that to fight the Seraphan Lord. Because without the Nexus Stone, he will... He doesn't stand a chance against fighting somebody who has a Soul Reaver. So, well, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> ah! Instant kill. Now you have to think that maybe, maybe she has a point, because Cain is not exactly a trustworthy individual. He's never proven himself to be a trustworthy individual. <laughs> Shouldn't have turned around. This all would have gone so much simpler. Where did he go? And as we all know, eventually Cain will. Cain will uh, conquer the world, because we've seen that fate in Soul Reaver. Oh shit. Ah, oh, blocking that does not help at all. <laughs> this will work out eventually. Where did he go? There we go. And the experience Kane has at this point with the various vampires who are on his side and then eventually betrayed him does it is reasonable to believe that he will not allow any other vampires to live that aren't directly under his thrall. It's, uh, it's not an unreasonable assumption. So, Uma may very well be correct about what Cain is eventually going to do. Would he allow them to live? Probably not. And especially this betrayal that Uma had just made. That, like, uh, somebody who was with him since he first reawoke and had guided him and all that stuff. If it was anybody he should have been able to tr trust, it should have been Uma. But that obviously isn't how it worked out. Level up. Oh, I thought it would be a level up. Really, really close though. 
this spot and searchlights do absolutely nothing. So even people like Vorador, who have worked pretty successfully with Kane in the past and all that kind of stuff, he may not trust anybody well enough to... No one's allowed through here without the password. The fogs come in and no ships will be sailing until they turn the lighthouses on. Can I just do this? Nope, apparently not. Even with the work that Vorador has done with Kane in the past, he may not trust him well enough, or anybody well enough, to allow them to live once the time comes for Kane to have his ascent to power. Now, we have just encountered another bizarre inconsistency with the story last of. Week, these were only 20 of a kilo. That was last week. Oh, this is robbery. Listen, friend, the Seraphim buy whatever they will, at whatever price they please. This is all they left me, and I must still make a living. You're not the only one who has to live. Take it or leave it. I'll give you ten. That's robbery. Please, don't hurt me. Buying inexpensive goods. Should kill all of you. In fact, I think I will. Later. Now, another inconsistency we've seen with the Legacy of Cain story is the existence of Janos Aldrin. Now, Janos was a character who was referred to back in... Was... Oh, shit! Big motherfucker. Okay, yeah, I can't decapitate that guy because he has the heavy armor. Yeah, Janos Aldrin was a character who's referred to in the original Blood Omen as this, like, his existence was referenced in relation to the Heart of Darkness item that you can find, which would resurrect Kane if he were defeated. And Kane gave a, gave a quick backstory. Uh, involving him, Janos being near a certain village, and his heart was eventually ripped out and stuff. Hunted, preyed upon the people who lived there, and then somebody came along and ripped out his heart. Now we eventually found out come Soul Reaver 2, when Raziel traveled back into the past, uh, right before Vorador went and slaughtered the circle. Can't go in there. Right before... Raziel slaughtered the circle. The two of them met Raziel, met Janos, and the two of them had a conversation, which eventually led to the Seraphan Knights sneaking into Janos' retreat and killing him. In fact, um, the Seraphan that killed him was, in fact, Raziel's living self. But we saw him die. We saw his heart ripped out, and we saw the man die. So... This game, which takes place after that point in history, Janos is still alive, and it's like, like, oh, I'm not actually dead. I was just a prisoner. Offers no real explanation to that. Now, unlike that, however, the unlike the serious uh, situation with Vorador, strangely being alive after he lost his head, we never actually. Shit! We never actually get a good explanation for why. Well, we never get an explanation for why Vorador is alive. We will eventually hear, find out what the deal with what the deal with this is. You can kill these guys easily. I mean, these guys can be quite a hassle to deal with, but you can kill them quite easily if you're willing to pick them up and toss their bodies into the water. They can't swim, and they'll die. 
which I had the opportunity to do right there. Once they charge after you, they'll get tired. And you could toss them into the toss them into the river here. But I'm not gonna do that because I wanna drain them of blood, don't I? I could do it, but I won't. Uma was not kidding about these guys being the toughest of the Seraphat troops. They're actually tougher than the Hilden that we were fighting before. And they're the, these guys, I think these guys are the Glyph Soldiers, so even if I could sneak up to them in mist form, they'd know I'm there, making attacking them that much more difficult. Here we go. Ah, oh, Glyph Switch. So, Janos is somehow still alive. Oops. Janos is somehow still alive. Why, we don't know yet. Probably should have waited a little bit before I flipped that one. You gotta time these kinds of things. Okay, it was too quick. Okay, let's try this again. Energy. Getting close. There we go. <laughs> the animation doesn't line up, but whatever. As long as I have the thing triggered by the time it gets there. Switched. One more. Switched. I hope that was the last one I had to do. Okay, oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, we've switched the lighthouse on. So now that guy should not be bitching so much about us not about me not being able to get through. Hmm. Did I see a a box around here somewhere? It's a shame that the glyph energy is so evil in nature. It seems like a pretty big convenience. They won't let me down to the docks. They say it's because of the fog, but I need to get to my boat. Just give them the password. North Star. It'll let you through. Thanks, mate. I owe you one. North Star. Okay. Apparently I did need a password to get through anyway. Even though I turned the damn lighthouse back on. I thank you guys for your assistance. Um, you will no longer be required. Dude was all jostling around on the ground there. It was weird. I'm sure this will take me back to where I'm going. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Two of these things. So generous. Yep, yep, here we are. I've come back with a large sword that you did not see me with before. Let me through. Oh, I slaughtered a few people in this room here. You again? Password. North Star. Good enough. Come on, then. Good enough? That's exactly the password. Definitely not going to let you live after giving me crap like that. Ooh, another one of these things. They're desperate to give you a lot of assistance. Checkpoint!
Um, I guess I gotta jump onto the ship. Oh, no, oh, no, there we go. Oh, okay, telekinesis switch. I'm going to want to jump into the fog so I can activate that real quick and so I don't have to fight that Seraphan. <sighs> Friggin' people watched me do that. <laughs> Taste my blade. Okay, he's a Gliv soldier, so it wouldn't work it anyway. Bet that freaked you guys out. Now here's the thing. You just saw everything I did. I can't allow you to get away with that. I just can't. Bye-bye. Of course, that is kind of a stupid idea. If I were, if I were going for all of the lore energy I can get, I would never have tossed someone into the river or the ocean. I would have just taken their, uh, would have just killed them like the other guy and drank their blood. But these regular people offer so little blood that it's not really that important at this point in the game. Oh, tell me we got another box puzzle. I think I know what's happening here. I push it into something and it will fall through the floor or something like that. Just gotta figure out where to put it. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> There we go. Haha. -ha. Actually, surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to work anymore. <laughs> Seriously? A locked door? Kick the damn thing down. Oh, okay. There we go. Now that we have the box down here, we just push it on top of that, and for some reason, that will open the door. Because that makes a lot of sense. What are we, Resident Evil here? the dumbest door lock I've ever seen. That's a no. My sword, fool. I remember back when I played this game the first time, there was one of these guys that for some reason, this one I couldn't defeat. 
So every time, like whenever I got up to him, I would, instead of defeating him properly, I'd wait for him to tire himself out, and then I'd pick him up and toss him into the, toss him off the dock, and that would uh, that would kill him, of course. And I always felt like there was something really wrong with what I was doing because I wasn't going to get all that blood. So I was loading from a checkpoint right in front of, right before I encountered the guy. So I would Can kill him. Distance? Never fear. Are you Kane? They sent me to help you. You must reposition the lighthouse so that the Seraphin supply ship will dock and the drawbridge will lower. Oh, I gotta do that crap. Axe. Gotta reposition a lighthouse, apparently. Wherever the hell that is. Hold on, why would I need this drawbridge to lower if I, uh, if I, could, if I could just go across that? Ah, whatever. Checkpoint. It's nothing personal. Glyph soldier. Shit, that did not work out at all. Oh, fighting dirty. Whoops, not what I should have done. Um, oh well. Moving on, I can't stay here. They've got those arrows shooting into my back. Moving on. There's another one down there. One of them's a glyph soldier, the other's not. There's no fog anyway, so it doesn't really make a big difference. Okay, let's do this thing. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Chumps. Okay, we have glyph switch. Okay, I just gotta wait. Yep, light switch, lighthouse is off. And I guess we're turning this one on. Whoa, whoa, the entire building moved? <laughs> Holy shit, that's nuts. What is that noise? Why can't you flip these switches with telekinesis? Why do I have to bother going in there? Yeah, that makes sense. through there with those stupid women there. They're gonna try and kill me when I get through there. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, there's nothing you can do. Light fixtures getting in the way. Oh, I thought I had enough energy. I was a bit premature. Dead. D E D. Oh, I can't get at those two that were shooting crossbows at me. Feels like a bit of a disappointment. About to hit the checkpoint. I'm at 27 minutes. Damn. Okay, I gotta end the episode. <laughs> There we go.